What is up everyone? My name is Roy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's video. Today we are doing another budget versus luxury side-by-side -side comparison of a staple of the American male wardrobe and that is the sweatshirt. Today we're going to be comparing a $600 Balenciaga sweatshirt to a $45 Nike sweatshirt. How are they the same? How are they different? How do they feel like on? We're going to be covering all those things in this video, so let's get started. So starting off in the Nike sweatshirt in the galactic jade color that they call it. This is a lighter weight sweatshirt. The material is pretty light, it's pretty thin, it's pretty flimsy. That doesn't mean that it's bad because honestly in your wardrobe, you should have sweatshirts that are of different weights so that you can wear them at different times of the year. So I'm not upset that this is a thinner sweatshirt. This is made out of um, the sort of cheapest material that you make sweatshirts out of. It's this brushed back fleece material. So it is very soft, but it just doesn't feel very luxurious. It doesn't feel very substantial. It's kind of flimsy. It's kind of thin, as I said, but that doesn't mean that it's bad. It's still a comfortable sweatshirt. It's just made with sort of basic materials and you can feel that. The logo is embroidered, so that is nice. It's not like a print on, it is actually embroidered. So it does look it does look nicer than I think a sticker would look. So that's a bonus. In terms of the construction, this is a pretty standard fit sweatshirt. So it's relaxed through the shoulders, it's relaxed through the waist, it's sort of straight cut. Um, it's definitely not oversized, but it is still very roomy and comfortable. And I like the look of it when you're just kind of running errands or lounging around the house like this doesn't look overly bulky or anything uh it's also a great color i love this sort of they like i said they call it galactic jade i love this color i love green i don't think people wear green enough so this is definitely something that i currently wear and will continue to wear the design on this again is very basic so in terms of the cuffs and the collars and the hem um, this is pretty standard stuff when you come to lower end sweatshirts. There's nothing special here. There's nothing to write home about. Doesn't feel especially nice or, um, you know, substantial or industrial. This is a pretty standard feeling cuff. It gives a little bit. I feel like over time they're just going to stretch out and they probably won't, you know, be as elastic as they are now. But, you know, that's what you get for this price point. This was $40, $45. This will last a couple of years and then you donate it and move on to something else. So now I have the Balenciaga on and I can tell you I immediately, immediately feel a difference between the two. So what am I feeling? I'm feeling the materials. This material in this sweatshirt is very different from the material in the Nike sweatshirt where the Nike sweatshirt had that cheaper brush backed fleece material. This has um, a looped back French terry material. So this is much, much more expensive. It's basically the same kind of material that you're gonna get in like a bath towel. So when you think about a sweatshirt, that's what a sweatshirt was originally designed for. It was supposed to absorb body moisture. So um, you probably can't see it on camera, but they are, they're just thousands and thousands of these little loops. And what that does for the feel of the sweatshirt, it is much heavier. It is much more substantial feeling, but at the same time, this, the, uh, that's not to say that weight is a bad thing in a sweatshirt. I think weight is actually a good thing in a sweatshirt when it feels weighty. Whereas the other, the other sweatshirt from Nike was comfortable. This is comfortable, but at the same time, it's, it's comforting. So I don't know if that makes sense, but it's comfortable and comforting. And that has to do with the weight of the material. In terms of the design, this is a slightly different design from the Nike. It is oversized, so it's off the shoulder. Um, the sleeves are actually a little bit shorter. I don't know if you can really see that, but that is definitely a purposeful design element to the Balenciaga, but it gives it just a little bit of a more interesting shape because it is it is off the shoulder up here. Um, so it is very wide. You have lots of room here. Um, it is straight down through the waist, but again, with these shorter sleeves, it kind of gives it a little bit of a different look, which I definitely like. In terms of the cuffs, the collars, the hem, these just feel much more substantial, much more heavy duty, much more industrial than what you found on the Nike sweatshirt. These feel like things that are gonna stay sort of elasticized and snug for many years. This feels like it's gonna last 
a long time. Again, this is a slightly different shade of green, but again, like you know, I love green. So I was very happy to add two green sweatshirts to my wardrobe with this. Really the only other design element on this sweatshirt is just this very minimalistic Balenciaga logo on the chest. I don't even know if it reads on camera. You can probably see it, but it's tiny, um, which I like. I like sort of a very subtle minimalistic kind of thing like that because this isn't gonna look out of style in a couple of years. This is something that I will be able to wear for a while and it's not really gonna look like last season's thing because it's kind of basic. They're just sort of an essential element of you have a sweatshirt and you have a very tiny logo on the chest. Like that's what Polo has done for 40 years with like their, their Polo shirts. It's just a shirt and a horse logo. So something like this is not gonna go out of style very quickly. So in terms of the style, the construction, the materials, the Balenciaga definitely feels higher quality. It definitely feels like it was built and designed for a higher price point. Now, obviously, this being more than 10 times as expensive as the Nike, this is not worth the money. Like this is not 10 times better than the Nike, but you don't buy these higher end labels uh, just because you think the quality is a little bit better, the construction or the design is a little bit better. You're buying the label. Anybody that denies that is just lying to themselves. Um, the quality is better, but it's not 10 times better. So um, when you buy these brands like Balenciaga, Gucci, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, like you're buying the label, you're buying the name, you're buying the image, you're buying the lifestyle. I will say that I actually wear both of these sweatshirts equally as much. I don't really discriminate as to uh, which sweatshirt I'm wearing because like I said, one of the Nike is a little bit uh, lighter weight, so I can wear that when it's a little bit warmer. If, I, if it's a little bit colder and I want a little bit of a heavier sweatshirt, I will wear something like this. That is it, you guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and share it with a friend. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel where I post lifestyle, fashion, and advice videos all designed to be simple and help boost your happiness and your well-being. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. See you next time.